Hey y'all, welcome to another Taste Challenge Thirsty Thursday on Uncle Bub's Bell Buckle Beer Reviews. Alright, this week I've got a Taste Challenge. It's two delicious beers that I really love a lot. I love both these brews. Um, and we're going to do a Taste Challenge between them. Uh, I actually, what I'm going to do is, I've got two mugs. i got one with a piece of blue tape on the bottom of it and one that doesn't have anything. And I'm going to pour one of them in here. When I'm in here, and then I'm going to close my eyes and mix them around and do a blind taste challenge. That's the only way I know to do it because I ain't got no help. Um, so, delicious grosh, 5% ABV. I love grosh, I love grosh, I love this brew. Ah, a little pop of the cap there. Can't find this around here. I ordered this out of Michigan. Had it shipped down here out of Michigan, y'all. Alright, so we're going this is actually 16 ounces um, and and my Heineken is a little bit more than 16 ounces but we're going to try to get them as even as possible in the glass so as not to be able to tell the difference Heineken is also a 5% ABV I love this brew as well love both of these brews um, we're going to find out which one I actually prefer. <laughs> we'll be getting off of there. Almost, almost overdid it there with the, with the Heineken. Um, looking at the color of them, just by looking at it like it is now, it looks like the gross is just a little bit darker than the Heineken. That's the way it looks. Just a tad. Just a tad darker. Um, head is dissipating a little bit more on the grosh. But we've got all of the grosh in there. Alright. All the grosh. And I've got the, the, the piece of tape is on the bottom. Blue piece of tape is on the bottom of the grosh. Alright. Alright. So... I'm letting that head dissipate just a little bit. Um, okay. Alright. Good. Let that head die down. I may edit this part out and let this head die down. I'm going to sit here. And uh, let y'all have to watch this stuff. Because it's kind of boring. But I want the heads, I want the, the amount of liquid in the glasses to be the same as much as possible. Um, the the Grosh is 16 fluid ounces. This is actually 16.6 .6 fluid ounces. So it's just a little bit more in the Heineken bottle. Um, and we'll set the red, we're going to try to get them as, as even as we can. I'll set this over here out of the way and I'll finish it up after we do our taste challenge. <clears throat> like the foam, the foam has a has a, a similar consistency. Uh, pouring it hard, the Heineken had a lot more head to it, and it seems to be dissipating a lot slower than the Gross did. Um, the texture of the head looks, you know, similar. The aroma of the head is the same. Um, you know that they, they're they're very similar beers uh, as far as what they are. Uh, Grosh comes out of the Netherlands. It is well. This is actually a 15.2 fluid ounce bottle. Um, and the the writing is so dead gum tiny I can't even <laughs> I can't even read it. I mean, that's some T90 Nini 90 writing on it, dad gum. Anyway, and uh, yeah, both of them 5% alcohol by volume. Uh, Heineken brewed in Holland, Grosh brewed in, I guess it's the Netherlands. I would consider that Holland as well, I guess. I think that's right. Ha, we can do this. Okay, Google, 
Where is Grosh Pilsner beer brewed? In Sheet, the Netherlands. The Netherlands. According to Wikipedia, they had okay. started their own brewery in Sheet, the Netherlands, in the early 19th century. It held a significant stake until November 2007. Okay. Okay, Google, where is Heineken brewed? Oh, stupid thing. Where is Heineken brewed? Amsterdam. Amsterdam. Here's a summary from Craft okay. Beer and Brewing. Oh. Europe's largest multinational brewery was founded by Gerard Adrian Heineken okay, in Amsterdam. Good enough. Um, so, Amsterdam, Holland, the Netherlands, I mean, both of them basically come out of the Netherlands. How about that? That's basically what I can tell you. Um, the head is about dissipated. I'm going to add just a little bit more to this one. So, Heineken and Grosh. Heineken and Grosh. Alright, so there's our beers. I'm going to set the bottles up a little closer so y'all can still see them right there like that. And it looks like I've got the same amount in each glass where I'm looking at it. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to take my glasses off. I'm going to swap these glasses around, keep my eyes shut, and try to confuse myself, and then we're going to do a taste challenge. All right, so here we go. The blue tape is on the bottom of the Grosh. So I'm going to grab the mugs like this, so I won't be able to fill the tape on the bottom. Grab them, and we're going to try on my right first. We're going to try this one, all right? And by the way, uh, these beers are for the American workers. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Thank you for the work that you do day in and day out to provide for yourselves and your families, pay your own way, and support our economy. America doesn't roll and move without its workers. And old Uncle Bub here in Bell Boca, Tennessee, I just want y'all to know that I know what it's like. I work hard and nobody appreciates it. I want y'all to know I appreciate y'all. Thank you for what you do. Cheers. Oh man, it's good. That is good. It's got a nice, fresh flavor, uh, crisp, clean. Um, of course, the color of it was beautiful. Both of them were beautiful, bright beers. Uh, the Grosh was just a little bit darker, looked like to me, uh, in the light that I have. Looked like it was a little bit darker, but that is delicious beer. All right, now we're going to try this one. Well, <laughs> it's strange, y'all. Tell any different? I can't tell any difference in these, y'all. <clears throat> Getting just a little more, uh, just a little more in the finish on this one. Not much. Just a little just a little more in the finish on this one. The flavor is almost identical, y'all. I cannot hardly tell a difference between these two.
crisp, clean, delicious beer. All right, so which one do I prefer? I can't hardly tell the difference. This one right here in my right hand has just a little, I mean, just barely a little something more in the finish. Just barely. Just barely. So this one has just barely a little bit more in the finish than this one. Other than almost freaking identical from what I can tell. So I'm going to open my eyes now and we'll see which one I chose. Picking this one have just a little bit more. Let's see what we got. <clears throat> that is the Heineken. Uh, Heineken had just a little bit more flavor to it than the Grosch. This is a Grosch here. Almost identical, y'all. Almost bleeding identical. I can't believe that. I thought that I would probably prefer the Grosch over the Heineken simply because it's harder to get this for me uh, and it's more expensive than the Heineken. But for the equivalent ABV, 5%, 5%, the Heineken actually has just, I mean, just ekes out a win on this one. If I'm going by price, if I'm going by price, Heineken wins every time. Uh, because I give $10 for four bottles of this. And I can get, I don't know, I, it's been so long since I bought a 12-pack of Heineken, I don't know what I give for it, but... I would say that the, the Grosch is, is a little more uh, pricey than the Heineken. So I think probably a Heineken would be a better deal. They're both delicious. I, I, they're both delicious brews. So Heineken ekes out a win, y'all. Just barely ekes out a win for me today. Let me know what you think. If you've ever tried them head to head, which one do you think has a better flavor? I mean, it was just really, really close. This one just barely had anything over the Grosch. So anyway, that's a, that's been a, a taste challenge Thursday, Thursday this week. Hey, I love and appreciate y'all. Um, I'll be back tomorrow for a Friday's R for you. So y'all stay tuned. Take care. Cheers. So similar.